Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Castro here at YS Stocks and Options. A great day, great day today, right? Great day to be in the market. So uh, just a few things that we want to cover just for today and this week. So we saw the Dow Jones futures um, rise slightly Sunday night. So that's what you're seeing right here, right? The Dow, Dow Jones future rise and also the S&P futures and the NASDAQ futures, right? Slightly rise as a key uh, Fed meeting looms this week, right? So that's what we're expecting on Wednesday. The market rally attempt is underway, right? Led by Apple stock and also Microsoft. And that's what strong gains for the major indexes in S&P hit a new record uh, close on Friday. That's what we saw. For earnings, uh, we're really looking into Lenar and also Adobe and the lastly uh, Vivian Automotive. Uh, they all report earnings this week. So those are the three they're really paying attention to. Uh, we're expecting Lenar and Adobe, of course, to um, destroy earnings. Uh, Rivian, this would be the first earning, so we're not expecting much of it, much from it, but uh, we'll see what happens, right? So uh, Lenore and Dobie are two that we definitely looking into buying some calls in for um, for this week, right? So the Federal Reserve meeting, uh, as you guys know, the final federal meeting will be held on the 14th and the 15th of December. After finally uh, agreeing to begin scaling back asset pr purchases in November Fed meeting, uh, policymakers have the signal, right, that they could speed up the bond tapering this week. So we're going to see what exactly transpires from the bond tapering talks. And that will set the stage for Fed, um, Fed rate rate hikes, right? And that's before uh, the mid-2022. So that's what we're looking at. Again, that's federal rate hikes um, in the middle of 2022. So we're looking at about another year or so. Well, not year, um, six months or so. Uh, the Omicron COVID variant is a potential wild card at the start of the month. So that's what really triggered that. But there's growing consensus that it's not a game changer, right? So a lot of a lot of folks are saying that it's not really going to change much. Uh, going to see the um, stocks and also the futures continue to rise higher, but uh, more to follow on that. And we're inflation at a 39-year high, right? It rose to 6.8%. Initial jobless claims at the lowest since 1969. The Federal Chief Jerome Powell and several other colleagues are taking a more hawkish tone as we look into how's that, how does that going to transpire to the market but they're taking more of a hawkish turn right now, um, looking into the information and data um, being presented as it as of now. So with the Fed go ahead and faster taper, we don't know, right? Or merely signal that the that uh, one could come nearly in 2022, right? So we don't know that. I think we're gonna get a lot of answers again. So we're gonna look into if the Federal Reserve is gonna um, faster the taper, or they're just gonna merely signal that uh, that it's gonna come around 2022, early 2022, that is. And how exactly the financial market reacts to that, we don't know, right? So Wednesday, we'll find all that information. Is the market going to be bearish? Are they going to are they going to like what they hear from the Federal Reserve? And, uh, you know, the, the market goes a little bit higher. Um, it's unknown to us right now. But uh, be, on, be, on, uh, um, be on the lookout for that and actually stay tuned on what exactly uh, Federal Reserve uh, General Jerome Powell is going to be saying on Wednesday meeting, right? So uh, for the Dow Jones futures today, what we saw in, uh, is the futures rose at 0 0.3, right, for the Dow Jones uh, versus the fair value of it. And the S&P futures climbed 0.2%, and the NASDAQ uh, 100 futures advanced 0.2% as well, right? Uh, crude oil prices rose 1%, right? So crude oil is continuously going up, as you guys are seeing right here, right? Almost 1%, 0.97%, rounded off. Of course, overnight action in any futures doesn't necessarily translate to actual trading in Monday's market session. So this is what we're seeing right now at this moment in time and space, right? Um, this may change uh, once the market opens up um, in later on on Monday at 8, well, I don't say 9.30 in the morning. So uh, this is not the gospel until the market opens and we see what exactly transpired. So with the coronavirus news, uh, the cases worldwide reached about 270.4 million, and uh, COVID-19 deaths uh, topped about 3.2, I mean 5.32 million. Right, uh, coronavirus cases in the U.S. hit about 50.80 million, uh, with deaths above 817,000. Right, uh, as we go, go into the reports for this week, so we don't have any scheduled reports for Monday and Friday, right? But for uh, Tuesday, we're seeing the NFIB Small Business Index and the pr Producer um, Price Index. So those are the really like the two ones that we're trying to um, pay attention to for Tuesday. 
And Wednesday, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see the retail sales and retail sales uh, excluding autos and also the import price index that comes all come out like 8.30 right before the market opens. And lastly is the import price index, including fuels and um, the Empire State Manufacturing Index, right? So all those, all those five reports come out uh, 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday. And more importantly, right, what we just talked about earlier was the Federal Reserve, their announcements in Jerome Powell press conference that's gonna happen around 1400, two o'clock PM, 2.30 PM, right? So uh, expecting a lot of volatility in the market for that time frame, and people are going to be in the edge of their seats. Investors will be in, and retail investors are going to be in the edge of their seats to hear what exactly the uh, Federal Reserve announcement is going to be and what um, Fed Jerome Powell uh, press conference is going to going to uh, bear fruit. Right, uh, Thursday we're going to get we're going to get the initial jobs claims. Right, that's the regular state program, and then we're also going to get the continuing job claims at 8 30 in the morning and uh, we have a, a slew of other reports but that's those are the ones that we really want to pay attention to right the initial jobs claims and the continuing jobs claims and those are for for december right december 4th and december uh, 11th of course we have the building permits report and housing starts report as well but um really looking into the initial jobs claims and the continuous claims as our number two uh, reports that we're really paying attention to friday as i mentioned before is no schedule reports for friday but uh, a lot of stuff going on in the market i think uh, um john powell press conference and also federal reserve announcement is really going to be uh, a stage setter for future of the um of the market and uh, um lastly um we have quad witching right we talked about quad witching we've been talking about it for a little while now but we have quad witching and um, on Friday, right? Friday, um, the, we have the um, four things expiring at that same time. So we're gonna expect some volatility. So if, the, if Jerome Powell doesn't uh, satisfy all the investors, I mean, you can definitely expect the market to like, you know, really be bearish going into quad witching, which may set that off, maybe a trigger for, you know, more, more downside for the market though. So, but more to follow and we'll see how that plays out. But Friday is quad witching, and uh, um, being that the market's kind of been beat up a little bit, we're not, you know, we don't see it going down too much like we saw in September. But um, be on the lookout. A lot of information, a lot of things that we're looking at. But um, just stay alert. You know, pay attention to Wednesday, which is the highlight of the week. And uh, we always say this, right? Always practice logic over emotions whenever you're trading, when you're investing. And remember, see you guys at the finish line. Cash out. Peace.